Oh, it feels good to be back here. British GT and Spa Francorchamps. It's a perfect pairing, almost like frites and mayo. And we're here this weekend in the Belgian Ardennes, set to hit round five of the British GT Championship, where somehow we're going to cross halfway through the season. Don't ask me how, but we've got 37 cars and a long pit lane to get down. So let's go and have a quick look. And we'll start right here with Blackthorn, their Aston Martin Vantage AMR GT3 Evos, Giacomo Petrovelli and Johnny Adam in there. And just on the other side, you've got Matt Topham and Josh Rowledge. Both of those cars looking fantastic. That team, incidentally, also coming off the back of a big result in the Le Mans support races the other weekend, so they will be aiming high this weekend. On to CWS Racing. There's Tom Holland. Give us a wave, Tom. Say hi. Hello. Are you loving Spa? I've driven here before, so hopefully <laughs> <laughs> There's Janetta and the Colin White Fun Bus has made the trip to Belgium. More than welcome as well. On to Century. Just the one GT3 for them this weekend. Carl Cavers and Lewis Plato. The sister car of Michael Johnson and Dan Harper sadly skipping this round, but we'll be back for Snetterton. We've also got two GT4s from Century. Ravi Ramid and Charlie Robertson. Yet to really see the best of that car, but very distinctive in its, in its livery and will be aiming high again this weekend. Ian Goff and Tom Wrigley. Always a fast Pro-Am pairing, always a fast Pro-Am pairing, will be one to watch. Speaking of fast, Team Parker Racing's Mercedes AMG of Charles Dawson and Seb Morris. Interestingly, Seb Morris still holds the British GT lap record here in a Bentley GT3 from 2017, which is probably one of our longest standing lap records. Will anyone beat it this weekend or will Seb add the GT4 lap record also from that year? Greystone GT, we've got the returning McLaren of Andre Borodin and Ollie Webb. Good to see them back for the one-off. And the similar, the, the, the similar green-hued Mercedes AMG of Mike Price and Callum McLeod. Both drivers there getting a debrief. Say hi guys, live on film. Will be one to watch, has been getting closer and closer to the top six every round so far. Mahiki Racing's twin Lotuses looking absolutely fantastic. You've got to love the colours on these. Also this team doing double duty, of course in the GT4 European Series, powered by Rafa Racing Club. Um, so they will be doing back to back with these cars, British GT and then GT4 the following weekend. Very quick at Silverstone, so clearly the Lotus may well like the big open circuits. So. Good omen for them this weekend. Kevin C and Maxi Gertz. Love the matte livery on that car. So distinctive. Ian Loggy and Phil Keane. Also got to love the D2. They're carrying a bit of extra compensation time from this weekend after a podium finish at Donington Park, but running well in the championship, still very much in the hunt. Academy Motorsports brace of Ford Mustangs, Matt Nickel Jones, and Will Moore, and Eric Evans, and Marco Signoretti. Again, another team doing double duty. Also, same, same cars, same driver pairings for GT4 Europe next weekend. Making big gains with that car. Obviously a brand new chassis for this year. Lots of Ford performance help on there as well. Getting quicker every single race for the Academy boys. Orange Racing by JMH. Simon Orange and Tom Roche. Love the look of that McLaren. And then on to Toyota Gazoo Racing UK. Dan Vaughan and Kavi Jundu went very well at Donington, finding their feet in the Supra. So could well be one to watch in GT4. The Neary's, the new black carbon front end, which I think really sets that car off. Already been podium finishers at Silverstone. Could they add a second one here? You never know. They've got the speed and the experience around here. Because don't forget, not a huge amount of testing at Spa. Race Labs, GT4 McLaren, Callum Davies and Sai Sanjay. Sadly, we were due to have a GT3 from them this weekend, but it's had to drop out for other commitments. So just the GT4 for them this weekend. DTO return again, back for us from Donington Park with the Janetta, Freddie Tomlinson and Stuart Middleton. Never ever count those guys out. 
They are the perennial Ginetta racers. They know exactly how to get the best out of those cars and they'll probably go well here. Beach Dean AMR, Andrew Howard and Jess Hawkins. Hi Jess, Hello. you all right? Aiming high this weekend? Always. Always. Moving on, we've got some more Aston Martins for SETI Motorsport. These two cars look absolutely fantastic. Obviously the new GT4 Evo spec for this year. Interesting, the Jamie Day and Mikey Porter car will also be doing double duty in GT4 Europe. It's almost like I'm reading off the entry list of another championship. Moving down, we've got a couple of empty garages, which is really going to test my filler knowledge. So, obviously first time at Spa since 2022. Most of the track's also been resurfaced, so we could well see a big drop in lap times for this weekend. We've got a new Garage 59 McLaren. Well, when I say new, we've seen this car and we saw it before last year in Europe as well. It's Miguel Ramos racing solo for this weekend. He was due to take part in the CrowdStrike 24 Hours of Spa Prologue, but he missed it due to injury. So he's using a live race weekend as the perfect warm-up. British GT fans will recognize that car from Portimao, where it ran last. The other two regular McLarens for Morgan Tilbrook and Marcus Clutton and Adam Smalley and Sean Balfe. Already been race winners at Silverstone, going really well in the championship. A very quick Silver Am crew, really worth keeping an eye on those guys as well this weekend. Team RJN with the Buncombs and a shutter half down. Good looking car, I like the blue on that. On to the team that's set the GT3 bar so far this season, Barwell Motorsport. The number 78 of Alex Martin and Sandy Mitchell, two-time race winners, championship leaders, but they must serve the maximum compensation time on their pit stop, which makes it difficult in a three-hour race. Onto the collards, Rob and Ricky, the other winner. Barwell won three out of four so far this year. Rob, also a 2020 champion, going for a second, and those guys are the only crew so far to have scored double digit points in every round. They run second in the championship, just a handful of cars down, points down, on the sister car. Try to avoid some lorries coming in. Ram Racing, giving us a view of their signage and not the cars. We've got John Ferguson and Raffaele Marcello in the BMW M4 and Luca Hopkinson and Harry George in the Mercedes AMG GT4. They are in there. I promise they've made the trip. We'll see them later in the weekend. Paddock Motorsport. This is a car that needs a bit of luck. Ed McDermott and reigning GT4 champion Matt Cowley. They've had a few technical gremlins with that car. Missed Alton Park entirely. But they'll be looking to fight back this weekend with it on song. 720S GT3, Mark Plowman. Sorry, Martin Plowman and Mark Smith. Not very good, is it? Interesting that livery derived from Plowey's Le Mans winning LMP2, the Oak Racing Morgan. Looks great. Looked fantastic out on this track. The number 11 McLaren Artura. A change in that car this weekend. We've got Adam Hatfield now, who's there in the garage. Give some we got Adam Hatfield now stepping into the McLaren Artura for this weekend alongside Alex Walker. That car took its first GT4 silver podium last time out at Donington Park. Could well go well again. JNS Racing's Audi. To Hugo Cook and Sasha Kakad. <clears throat> Come on, round the tyre wall, round the tyre wall. GT4 Championship leaders. Jack Brown, conveniently right here for us. Say hi, Jack. Hello. Hello, Jack. Hello. You all right? All right. Are you going to win it this year, Jack? We're going to give it a good go, mate. We're going to give it a good go. That's what we like. What's been the secret so far? Keeping it consistent, mate, on the track. Just Fair keep enough. scoring points. And you're working so well with your new teammate. Yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah, he's a good lad. Yeah. Absolutely. Keep yeah. it clean and keep yeah. going. Maxim, maximum compensation time this weekend, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think just going to score points, really. Um, and uh, just, uh, yeah, keep it on the track. And, Good stuff. Well done. Good luck, mate. Obviously, they've been in this position before. They've had big leads before. All went wrong last year. Hopefully, not the same this year for them. On to the GT3 car. 
podium finisher at Donington with Mark Radcliffe and Tom Gamble. Looking very, very quick. And barring anything in scrutineering, that brings us to the end of our pit lane tour. It's very noisy here. It wouldn't be spa without a bit of engine noise, but make sure you tune in to catch us live. Every session is on live timing, and we are live on the GT World YouTube channel from qualifying on Saturday through to the race on Sunday. We will see you there.